Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 445. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 440 to 451. Hey, in this trick here, we have a nasty, complicated array formula. However, it's pretty cool if you can make your way through it. Here's the deal. We have some data, and I just have a small set. Usually it's a big set. And the numbers 0 to 3 can come up. And our ultimate goal is to find the mode. The mode equals M-O-D-E. Just tells us which one occurs most frequently. Okay, So 0, the problem is mode. Uh, is going to do two things. We want to. Uh, we have a special case when we get a zero, and if there is no mode, if I hit the F9 key, uh, right now it's always going to return zero. But if there is no mode, like right there, uh, if we exclude the zeros, it returns an error. So we're going to actually have to have one calculation formula here and a second one. And we're, need gonna, we're gonna need to choose between the two. In this case, if there is no mode and they're not all zeros, we need the smallest number in the data set. Still further, ultimately we're gonna have to then report a value. If our um, mode actually is means all of them are zero, we need to say no data. If one is our answer, whether it's from the min or the mode, we need low. 2 for security, 3 for uh, three will give us high. Now let's see our two calculations here. Equals mode, and to exclude the zeros, we're going to use the if function. Our logical test can just be all of the values. Why? We don't need anything like not zero, because there are already zeros here. These zeros will always return a false to the if, and any other number besides zero, positive or negative, will return a true. So I say, that is my series of trues and falses. And then that val those values right there, close parentheses and close parentheses. This if function is expecting a single true-false test. We're giving it an array of trues and falses. So we have to use Control-Shift and Enter. So not available. If I hit the F9, F9, let's see. So there is the mode. In that case, we need to use this calculation. Ah, but if we get an NA, we need to switch over to this calculation, the min of if that same setup right there. So we need to exclude the zeros and uh, give, get the min value because this NA. Uh, the mode has given us an NA. I'm going to control shift and enter. Now we got to think about this carefully. The mode is only going to give us a value when there is a mode and it's not a zero. The min will work in place of this when we have when in two situations, when we have a single value, there's some values that are not zero, it'll take the lowest one, which this a scenario requires. But watch this, the min here will also give us our zero if they all turn out to be zero and we need ultimately to report no data. All right, uh, so we have these two and we need to choose amongst them. So I'm going to do this little trick where I copy this mode, control C. If you have your keyboard shortcut for uh, clip for clipboard turned on, otherwise you can use that right there. You can use Control C C, Escape, and then I'm going to copy this one too because we're going to need those. Now remember, the min will give us uh, the minimum value when there is no mode, or it will tell give us a zero when they're all zeros, and the mode will give us our mode uh, result when in fact there is a mode. All right, so now how are we going to choose amongst these two uh, calculations here? We're going to use the choose function. Actually, why don't I go like this? We're going to use the choose function. And by the way, the data set, whoops, the data set is huge. I just have this small data set here. Choose. Now we need to choose between these. And we're actually going to have to use this choose inside of a lookup. So we need to create an array of both of these. Instead of doing a bunch of series of ifs, um, if you download this sheet here, I have an example of an if, and it gets long and crazy. Uh, but here, we're going to use the choose and choose what? In array syntax curly bracket 1, comma 2, because we want both of these and curly bracket. And the great thing about the choose is you can put numbers or text or calculations 
or even defined names. So here we're going to click here and put that calculation for our first value, comma, and then uh, click there for our second value. Now I'm going to close parentheses. Now watch this. If I highlight this and hit the F9 key, it returns an NA and a 1. Ultimately, our lookup function will pull out a 1, but let me control Z, control shift enter. Now I hit the F9 key. I got a mode of 2 and 1. We always want the bigger value between these two. So let's just go ahead and highlight this and hit the F9 key. So somehow we need to always pick the biggest value. The problem is there can be an error. And so using something like max or whatever uh, won't work because the error will mess it up. Well, we'll do a lookup. Notice. The numbers are limited between 0 and 3, so we're going to do a lookup. This is just an array, right? So we could do lookup. And lookup is one of the functions that can handle arrays. Since, four, since 3 is the biggest value, we can just say always find the biggest value lookup 4. And with an approximate match, it will always find the biggest one. So uh, our 4, comma, and then there is the array. We're just going to leave it like that. Uh, close parentheses. And actually, we have to use Control Shift Enter here because this if trumps the, the VLOOKUP. If I hit Enter here, it will not give me the right value. It's supposed to give me two, but if I Control Shift Enter, remember if requires it because that argument right there, no matter what function, some product VLOOKUP always requires Control Shift Enter, Control Shift Enter. And now we have it. If I hit F9, it's always given me, let's see if I can get one that's uh, different. There it is. So it's always going to give me the 3. Now, that is ultimately the lookup value we need to use in another lookup like this. And it doesn't matter what uh, lookup function you use. You could use VLOOKUP here or whatever. I'm going to use uh, lookup again because it will require more one less argument. The lookup value is this whole thing. I mean, isn't that bizarre? We, we're using the lookup to look up the uh, lookup value. But anyway, you come to the end, comma, and just highlight the whole table link you would in VLOOKUP. Uh, lookup always assumes that it's going to the second column over here, or the last column, wherever it is. I'm going to close parentheses and then Control Shift Enter. And so there it is as I hit F9. Right now, it's properly returning 1 because there is no mode and it took the min amongst those. So then it goes up here and gets that F9. F9. 2, there is a mode, so it's taking this mode and it returns secure. And if I keep going, I probably won't get all zeros, but when I have all zeros here, you can see it properly returns no data. Is that not one of the weirdest formulas ever? I actually got this from Daddy Longlegs and Don Quixote at uh, not Mr. Excel form, but the excelform.com. There's a link up there. There's also, if you want to learn about array formulas, I have a, kind of a basics array formula series there. All right, uh, look up, look up, choose mode if min. We'll see you next trick.